Hey guys, so I had a lightning storm and most of my panels, or basically all of them, are ruined. So I was looking through YouTube and can't find any videos on how to repair panels and lightning damage and all that kind of stuff. So I tried my best. So those are the panels that are damaged. I managed to repair them though. So in this video, I would like to show you how I repaired my panels. If you're lucky and you have been struck by lightning you can only simply repair the junction boxes in my case none of the cells were damaged just the Tyco junk junction boxes I will now show you the voltage of the solar panel just let just clarify that it actually is not working and you can actually see how the panel is fried there you can see the hole at the back and this guy's name is Joseph and he's helping me, he's actually working for me. As you can see there is no voltage, only millivolts. Now I'll show you how to repair the panel by replacing the junction boxes. Okay, so you need a flat surface. Then you need something sharp like a scalpel or... Preferably not too sharp like a knife or a scalpel, my mistake. Um, something to get underneath and... Um, you know to take out the silicone so let me just quickly show you how it looks as you can see totally fried this stuff is very tight melted in and now trying to get out the, the filament actually joins the stuff. So let me just break it out with my pliers. Yeah. Okay so those are out now now as you can see though that thing is actually used for grouting. Now be careful just wanted to pr put pressure between the panel and between the, the junction box not to dig in otherwise you're going to damage your panel so like a cut action like he's doing now you can see here he's cutting the silicone in between you're going to have to put in some effort it's quite very well glued together but you'll manage just be careful not to cut out or damage the those little copper straps that's connected to your cells um, gently and with a lot of pressure you can actually just lift it out then and as you can see that is lightning hmm. now I'm going to clean the panel and replace the new one uh, you have to clean the panel to remove all the old silicone and that kind of stuff. Now we're going to clean the panel. As you can see, a little bit damage in the front. But I'm positive it will still work. Now these panels are very well built. Okay, this is a new box. I ordered it from a lovely lady and she actually helped me in South Africa I didn't have to order it overseas and I'm just going to replace those you, the other panels actually wasn't as badly damaged so I only replaced diodes so I'm going to put pressure there just to put it in the new stuff I need to put pressure there and then I put this little wire in just to hold it open so I can press in the filament so I'm going to do with all all four of them okay the surface is clean you might have to make 
absolutely sure that when you flew back the Tyco box or the Junction box, the name of this box is Tyco, but Junction box is the name. You have to be sure that the grease and oil are free the panel. You know, there's no oil or grease on the panel or on the box itself. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems. It has to be watertight. So. I stepped on my silicone, so I actually made a hole in the silicone, so that's why I'm putting it off my finger. Normally just use, you know, just plainly just pour it on, so, but, you know, shit happens. I get it all nice and tight and se properly sealed. And now I'm just gonna put it on. filament in and it's when it's it's in I'm just gonna remove the wire and it's click and it's in sturdy again with the other ones see click remove the wire it's grabbing the filament sometimes it needs a plier but um, manage very sturdy I don't know if you can see but um, the diodes is actually from negative to positive so if you're standing on the back side of your panel and the panels facing away from you you know the cells away from you negative is on the left side negative positive negative positive negative positive so don't get confused. Now just seal it tight. And let's go check if it's working. Give me a trusted tester. Still building my new setup place. Workbench. You can remember it was only millivolts, new junction box, and negative in, positive in, and DC, huh? 43.3 volts. So, if you're lucky and your panels have been struck by lightning, this is where you can repair it. If you're lucky, thank you for watching, guys.